Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, we're going to be breaking down the ending of Shazam, the latest entry in the DCEU, and what it all means and how it will affect future films going forward, especially that long-planned Black Adam standalone film starring Dwayne Johnson. So obviously, spoiler warning here, if you haven't seen Shazam, I highly recommend you go check it out and come back to this video and we can discuss. So without further ado, here we go. One of the main themes of Shazam is is sort of the idea of family, as Billy is searching for his own mother, who he was abandoned from at a young age. He actually ended up losing her when they went to a carnival when he was very young, and pretty much he spent his whole life trying to find out who she is. The sad part is that ultimately when he does actually find her, it turns out that she didn't want him, and she left him there on purpose. So he kind of has to realize and accept that she isn't ever going to come back to him, and that he has a new family in the foster kids that he's met, kids like Darla, Mary, Freddy, and Eugene. Now at the exact same time, it turns out that Dr. Savannah has actually taken his foster family hostage, so he has to go back and confront him once and for all. Now at this point it's when the heroes actually go back and find out their way into the Rock of Eternity, and that's when Savannah is hot on their trail with the seven deadly sins alongside him. Eventually they all end up at the carnival that's happening in Philadelphia for the Christmas event, and the showdown basically happens there, they have to fight the seven deadly sins, but Billy has a realization of something that the wizard told him, which is to hold his staff and speak his name, and he's granted his powers. And essentially what happens is something that's Straight out of the New 52 comic book run, where Billy is able to transfer his own powers into the rest of his foster family, and they're kind of dubbed the Shazamily, and they have different power sets that are all unique, and kind of taking one trait from the wizard's fellow companions that used to sit around in the Rock of Eternity alongside him. When the family works together, they are able to separate the sins from Savannah and get out that one pesky sin that was hiding in his eyeball, so they could finally turn Savannah back into a normal man and take him out. And at that point, the day is won, Savannah goes to jail, and the kids are all able to have a family bonding moment, and Billy basically accepts them and is ready to start his new chapter of life. Now the film does end on a really cool payoff because it harkens back to something that was also another kind of running gag throughout the entire film, which is why Freddy was trying to get Billy to show up as Shazam to school lunch to show that he knew Shazam and was cool like that. Well, at the end of the film, it finally has a payoff where Billy does show up as Shazam, but to top it off, he brought another friend alongside him, and that is Superman. Although he's not played by Henry Cavill because we don't see his face, and it's likely a body double. So this definitely sets up the future of Shazam in the DCEU. A lot of interesting stuff could come from this. We could either see the Shazam family come back in some other way, because that was a big part of the comics, you know, Mary Marvel and the whole Marvel family, uh, Captain Marvel Jr. and all that. I'm curious to see how they'll modernize that and change up some of their names and stuff, and obviously Savannah goes to jail, where he meets another big villain from the DC Universe, Mr. Mind, which is a little caterpillar that has a very high IQ from another planet. But one other very interesting element that happens uh, midway through the film or so is when Billy first goes to the Rock of Eternity and meets the wizard, and the wizard kind of gives him a Man of Steel-esque history lesson, talking about what happened with the other wizards, and what the Seven Deadly Sins are, and so on, you know, the different powers of Shazam. During that whole history lesson, we actually see a hologram of the wizard's previous champion, which was Black Adam himself, but it turns out that he was corrupted and he let the seven deadly sins get unleashed and terrorize the entire world. So it definitely seems like that is setting up the events of what could happen in a future film, establishing the idea of a former champion, Black Adam, that used to have the wizard's powers, but we'll see where that goes. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how Black Adam does factor into future sequels or his own spin-off movie, but post your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you guys think of Shazam, and what are you most excited to see for the future of the character? I just certainly hope that we can actually get some interactions between Shazam and other DC characters. I think it'd be a lot of fun to see him interact with Wonder Woman or Aquaman, or especially Superman, but obviously we know that there are some contract disputes going on with Henry Cavill, so we don't really know who's going to play Superman in the future, or what DC DC and Warners actually want to do with that character. But like I said, post all your thoughts down in the usual spot, and for more updates on Shazam and everything in the DC Universe and pop culture, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.